Okay, this is my hydrogen cell on my wife's car, Toyota Camry 99 model. Um, there's the hydrogen cell, it's right down there. You can see it. It's doing focus here. And it's just plugged in. You can see the bubbles being produced. I don't know if you can or not. There it goes. This is my reservoir with lime mixed in with it. It's just gravity fed to that. Take off this lid so you can see the production. There's the hydrogen. I got an inline fuse down there. That way, if it pulls too many amps from the, uh, the cell, which is right down there, it'll trip that fuse. This is 40 amp fuse. There's all my wiring. I had to turn my battery sideways in order for this to work. I uh, put my relay over there, and the wiring is going down here. I don't know if you can see that, but the wiring is going down here. Up around here, and got some more wiring down there, and then going from the firewall. I got this long hose on it, this one right here, going around here because I couldn't find a place for this to mount, so I just decided to mount it right out here on the radiator with some draw straps. It worked, it's been working like that for a year and a half, so I could have easily went from right here, right directly from right here to there. Right in here somewhere. Doesn't matter really. You see that red, that red thing right there? That is actually a magnet. I put it on the, uh, the fuel line right there, and I was getting about a hundred more miles of tank for the first three to four tanks, but then it slowly tapered off and went back to normal. I guess these uh, petroleum companies, gas companies, the scientists know that they know about that, so they well, don't want you using that. So there's the front. It's me. And then you can see the amp meter. The amp meter is Pulling about 9, 10 amps. I've got my uh, pulse width modulator right here. This little box right here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little knob on here. Potentiometer knob. I can control how many amps. See that? Control the amps being produced. I did have a toggle switch right there, but my wife kept hitting it and so I just pulled it out so that way she wouldn't be turned off and on. And my computer chip used to be glued right there, but I uh, put it back up under there. It kept on falling off. So anyway, thanks. It's waterfuelbooster.com. Thanks. Bye.